Hey everybody, welcome to Messy Kitchen Monday. Hang on just one second. Hey everybody, welcome to Instagram's Messy Kitchen Monday. Facebook, thanks for dealing with that for just a second. We had a slight delay. Uh, anyway, thank you for joining us tonight. We are continuing our month of crock pot cooking. Now, if you have been with the Buttered Home for very long, you know that one of my favorite things to do is meal prep. Um, back when I was eating right, <laughs> I would come in here on Sunday afternoons and I would meal prep and cook for my lunches all week. Well, lately I've had to do so much cooking for the blog that I have just kind of been portioning out what I'm cooking on the weekends anyway, and that's what I've been taking for lunch. So I'm still in a way, meal prepping is just not always healthy. <laughs> anyway, um, tonight we are gonna combine what we're doing this month by doing crock pot cooking with meal prep. Now the recipe when it drops later in the week for this is going to simply be for taking all these ingredients and putting them in the crock pot. But a bonus that you get is I show you in the process pictures on how to do exactly what we're doing tonight. So there'll be no finished product tonight. You'll actually have to wait until the uh, recipe drops later in the week to see the beautiful pictures of the finished product of this wonderful one pot meal. So tonight what we have for you is we have crock pot cowboy beans. Now, if many of you have followed me for very long, you know back in the summer when we were doing barbecue favorites, we did a great baked beans, a barbecue baked beans recipe that had bacon and had smoked sausage in it, and it is fine. This is similar to that as far as the flavor profiles when you have the savory and the sweet in it, but it's so much better because it's a heartier, heftier meal and it's not more like a soupy side dish. So both are great in their own right, but if you need something warm and fuzzy for the winter time, this is gonna be your best bet. So tonight, um, we're going to go through the process of prepping this to put into the freezer. We have a lot of meals that you can actually take and you can spend a Sunday afternoon and you can have you three meals for your family to sit down together for the crock pot during the week. That's one of the things that we like to do. Uh, also, if you're new, be sure and drop your name and where you're watching from in the comments, if we can get to them during, we will. If not, we'll, I'll answer you just as soon if you have any questions whenever we get done. Uh, so Big D would say I'm rambling, so let me just get right to it. Am I rambling in here? Nah, not, not too bad. Yay! <laughs> and I failed to mention last week, and it's messy, but is my kitchen not gorgeous. I, I think everybody should give Big D and my best friend Ryan a huge hand for all the work that they did on my kitchen. I'll be forever thankful for both of them and all that they did. Uh, and I did a lot too. Not as much as they did, but I, I had my hand in it too. So I, it was my vision, I guess, of what I wanted. I picked out paint colors. <laughs> I did more than that. It was just funny. Anyhow, Crock pot cowboy beans. I have one gallon size freezer bag. And I am, before we ever get started, going to get out my Sharpie. And right here on this handy dandy little white line, I'm going to write on here what it is and the month and year. Truthfully, it'll get used probably in the next two weeks. <laughs> But just in case it gets forgotten about, we're gonna have it at our fingertips. All right. So now you'll see I've got cowboy beans. Well, you won't see it, it'll be backwards on your end. Cowboy beans in February of 20. You might wanna let that dry just a little bit so you don't get Sharpie all over your hands. So this is very simple. What I have done is I have taken a pound of ground beef and uh, some onions and I have, well first, 
I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself, sorry. First, I have cooked a bunch of bacon. <laughs> and I've drained it and cooled it and then I've crumbled it. So we're gonna set that aside. We've reserved about two tablespoons of the bacon grease and left it in our pan. And then we have browned our onions and our ground beef and drained them and let them cool as well. So you're going to add that, the uh, ground beef mixture to your, to your freezer bag. And just make sure I get everything in there. Now, it wouldn't be cowboy beans if it didn't have beans in it, right? And don't forget, I mean, don't, uh, don't fret because you're gonna get all the measurements for everything later in the week when the recipe drops. So here I have a can of black beans and a can of light red kidneys that I have drained and rinsed. And those are going to go in the bag as well, carefully. It might be Messy Kitchen Monday, but it's not because I don't try real hard for it not to be such a mess. <laughs> and then I'm going to put in our crumbled up bacon. Get some of this stuff out of my way. And I just got bacon everywhere. Looks like somebody might have been in it. What are you giggling about in there? <laughs> All right, so now I'm just going to mix this up with a spoon inside the bag just to get everything kind of combined. And then we're going to set that aside. Now in a smaller bowl, we're going to take some brown sugar and we're going to put that in first because all of our other liquid is going to kind of dissolve that. And then we're going to take some ketchup. Oh, and I always have trouble with this one, but we're just gonna say it. It's Worcestershire sauce. <laughs> we're gonna put that in there. No matter how you say it, it's always good. And then we have apple cider vinegar. So we're just gonna whisk those together just a little bit because we're not done with this yet. We're gonna add a little bit more to it. So to make this wonderful concoction even better, we're going to add some salt. We're going to add black pepper. Cayenne or red pepper. And in my opinion, it's the red pepper, the spice, the red peppers that you put in it that kind of make it cowboy beans. And then red pepper flakes. And it's just very small amounts of these. Certainly this is like all of our other recipes. You can make it your own by making it less spicy or more spicy. And these two things, the crushed red pepper and the cayenne pepper are the ways that you do that. So just experiment with it. Um, we, when we develop our recipes, we try to do them just so that they're kind of middle of the road. They have enough spice that you can taste it and it might open your sinuses just a little bit, but it certainly won't make your eyebrows sweat. So there's that. We got a question? Okay. So, you, you were giving me a thumbs up. <laughs> so, we're going to mix that up. And let me just double check and make sure I haven't forgotten anything. Bacon, ground beef, onion, beans, beans, Worcestershire, brown sugar, ketchup, apple cider vinegar, red pepper, black pepper, cayenne pepper, and salt. So, that is it. And that smells really good. So, to our bag, we are going to carefully pour that in. Now, of course, if you were putting this together so that you wanted this cooked for tonight, you would do all this in your crock pot. However, <clears throat> we've got supper handles for tonight. So this is actually gonna go in the freezer. And this will stay in the freezer for a good little while I'd have to look at my notes to tell you for how long, but 
it's really irrelevant here because it won't stay in my freezer for very long. Sure enough, if you were prepping this stuff to have, um, it would probably last, I'd say about a month, a month, maybe two months in the freezer. Now, another little tip that I like to give people whenever we are talking about freezer prepping our meals is the ground beef. So if you know you're going to be freezer prepping several freezer meals to have for your crock pot or your instant pot <clears throat> that are gonna call for ground beef, I like to buy the ground beef in bulk and then brown it all at once, drain it, cool it, and put it in a freezer bag all of its own and um, usually I portion it out because normally when you say you wanna use a pound of ground beef, that is a pound raw, which is very different than a pound cooked. So anytime you are freezer prepping for tacos, for spaghetti, and you wanna brown your ground beef, it's a common thing in most recipes that you use about a pound. So portion that raw ground beef out in one pound sections and then cook it, drain it, and put it away. Um, and we like to buy our ground beef in bulk so that we can do that because that is another way that you, if you're a busy person like me, you can come home and cook a little bit faster. Trust me, spaghetti and lasagna has never been faster than using pre-cooked ground beef. So. That's a good tip for you tonight. Some of you may have already known that, but. So I have just kind of squeezed all the air out of this bag and we're going to seal it almost all the way up and I'm gonna give it one more good little roll to make sure I got all the air out of it. And look, you can see how pretty that is inside the bag. The great thing about this is, is that the majority of it is already cooked. So you're just kind of reheating this in the crock pot and allowing those flavors to meld and get inside of your ground beef and your beans. So if this is a relatively quick cook for in your crock pot, it's about four hours on low and about two hours on high. And that's cause everything's cooked. So you're just throwing together a good little meal. This you will not be disappointed in. So that is our meal prep and crock pot dinner all combined into one for the month. Um, this recipe will drop later in the week. If you're not a Buttered Home VIP, you can go to on Facebook up to the top of the page and click on the sign up button. And on Instagram, you can go to the thebutteredhome.com or you can go to our link in our bio and it will take you to our page that has all of our recipes and a link to our main page where you can sign up for our email list. This recipe, like so many others, will come to you that way first. You'll get it first if you are a VIP member. Uh, everybody else who's not has to wait until we post it on social media. <laughs> so uh, this recipe, like all of our others, are found at thebutteredhome.com. That is our home away from home for the Buttered Home. We're real proud of our website, so we encourage all of you to visit us there as well, as often as you think about it, um, because we want people to go to our website. My Facebook friends, if you guys would be so kind to share this video uh, and invite some of your friends to like the Buttered Home, we would be most appreciative of that too. Uh, next week, we're gonna continue with our crock pot cooking with something that's probably a little more fancy. I'm not gonna tell you what it is because it's a surprise, but this would be a crock pot meal that would be hard for you to do prep for like this. This will be something that you'll wanna put together like on Sunday morning and it be ready whenever you come home from church. And it is a good spin on a traditional recipe but it makes your life easier because you don't have to stand with it and watch it by doing it on the crock pot. I'm doing it in the crock pot. So we hope you'll be here next Monday night for that as well. As always, we love you guys and we hope to see y'all next Monday. And from the buttered home to your home, bye-bye.